The media are debating whether the Republican failure to get a vote Friday on the Obamacare replacement bill is a debacle, a disaster, or an absolute apocalypse for the Trump presidency. Of course, President Trump had said he wanted a vote and there was no vote. What's clear is that they didn't have the votes. And I'm starting to have the impression that many journalists are kind of enjoying this, not just because they think this is a bad bill. Hell, nobody likes this bill. Everybody thinks this is flawed, rushed, botched. So uh, it was always going to have a tough time. But for seven years, as the Republicans held, what, 50, 60 votes repealing Obamacare, which, of course, was symbolic since Obama was still in the Oval Office, um, you know, the argument that many journalists made was, well, it's easy to do that when you're in the minority party. It's a lot harder to govern. And we have just seen the evidence of why that is so hard. To me, this was always going to be nearly a mission impossible uh, for the GOP. And here's why. Donald Trump ran not as an orthodox conservative Republican. He liked certain parts of Obamacare, and I'm not just talking about the pre-existing conditions and kids under 26 saying the parents' policies. He said nobody would lose their coverage, and he didn't want to cut Medicaid either. That was very much at odds with the Paul Ryan position. And so now he gets into office, and he wants a bill that, you know, I'm not going to disparage it as Obamacare light, but it certainly kept parts of Obamacare and substituted other more market-oriented forces, no mandate, for example. The House Freedom Caucus, the most conservative of the Republicans in the House, thought this was a travesty, thought it didn't go far enough, it didn't save enough money, it wouldn't lower premiums. Uh, and so they were adamantly opposed. Paul Ryan was caught in the middle. He couldn't deliver the House. Uh, and so now that we're in this sort of orgy of finger pointing, uh, the question is, could this ever have passed? This is the problem that John Boehner had when he ran the House. That's the problem that Paul Ryan has now running the House. Now, there's no question that this is a setback for Ryan, the GOP, for the president, who many, many times during the campaign said, immediately, we will repeal and replace Obamacare. Now, he is said by some uh, journalists to have been at least privately said, maybe he should have done something else first, infrastructure, taxes, you name it. Because it's hard to take benefits away, we know that. And it's also hard to push this through a Republican Party that is so deeply divided over how far to go. Because let's say they pushed this bill through and somehow got through the Senate, which I think was even more problematic. Well, so technically, Trump gets a win. He did what he said he was going to do. The Republicans can do a rain dance. But then come the real world consequences. And if millions and millions of people did lose their insurance and premiums didn't go down, and there were all these stories about that, a lot of the particularly sort of more mainstream Republicans, the center-right Republicans, uh, would be in deep political trouble uh, for the fact that their party took this step. So this is a classic collision of um, politics, policy, a president who was at odds with his own party. Remember, the Republican establishment was against Donald Trump. And whether or not this is ultimately resolved or not, it shows you just how hard it is to do anything in this area of Obamacare. And even some Trump voters now saying they wish he wouldn't uh, take these steps that would uh, possibly end up pushing them off of the insurance rolls. Uh, so the media covering this is a huge story. It is a very big story. I sense a little bit of satisfaction, almost like a we told you so, that this kind of policy, you know, who knew healthcare could be so complicated? This kind of policy is very difficult to pass.